pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 151, Insights. All things are echoes of the voice for God. These are two main points that I get from this lesson. The first is that the information I obtain through the body's senses is not only woefully inadequate as a basis for judgment, but it is totally false. The second point is that I have an alternative that will always show me the truth, and that is the Holy Spirit. I have gone through my life thinking, what I see and hear and touch is the basis for understanding. Yet, like the lesson says, there have been innumerable occasions in which I made a judgment only to find out later I didn't see what I thought I saw or hear what I thought I heard. Or I may have heard and seen accurately, but there was more I didn't see or hear that changed the meaning of the event. Surely by now it would seem I would have learned that my body's senses cannot give me all I need for accurate and true judgment. Yet it seems I am still more inclined to believe the information I gain through the body than to listen for and trust the Holy Spirit's voice. I am grateful for this course because I am more and more willing to question everything I think I know and turn it to the Holy Spirit for his vision. Whenever I do, I always find peace. I always see innocence in my brother and myself. I recognize that all things are echoes for the voice for God when I am willing to step back from my judgments to not believe the information coming to me through the body's senses and listen instead to the Holy Spirit's voice. When I am able to successfully do this, it is like the images of the world are thin veils through which I am able to see the loving light that unifies everything. The veil is so thin and faint that it does not interfere with seeing the light, the innocence, the love that is truly there. It is my goal to be able to walk the world lightly and carry this x-ray vision of the Holy Spirit in all my doing. I can imagine putting on a set of Christ vision goggles. With these goggles, I am able to see through the chaotic confusion of images and remain at peace because I see the unity of love and innocence in all. The images of form may still be there, but the old meanings I gave them have faded away, and with Christ vision goggles, I am able to see the face of Christ everywhere. Today, in any moment in which I do not feel complete peace, I will practice seeing with Christ vision goggles. This is a way of walking in peace. As I read the Course each day, I am always led in one way or another to follow the perceptions of my inner teacher, the Holy Spirit. Today Jesus reminds me that it is only the Holy Spirit that can be the true judge of anything. What I see through the body's eyes always bears false witness. The body's eyes were made to see separation from God and from my brother. None of this is true. Through the Holy Spirit, I am led to look past these false witnesses and see nothing has changed from God's extension of the love and light that everyone is. It is only by my 
consistently opening to the Holy Spirit that I am able to awaken from this false dream of separation and return to the awareness of the unity of God. In truth, there is only one life, and that is the life we all live in God as one. Today, my job is to practice giving all judgment to the Holy Spirit where it belongs. Holy Spirit, help me see that I cannot judge. What I see through the body's eyes only brings false witness. Help me not to believe in these false witnesses, but rather receive your vision of what is eternally true. Be my guide all through the day. Purify my thoughts as I hand them over to you one by one. Help me distinguish between what is real and what is false. Help me see as you see that I may extend what you extend. Help me see the innocence and unity that is behind every form of separation. Help me remember the truth. My part is to give all my judgments to you, remembering that I cannot judge. Only you judge truly. Pathwaysoflight.org